Morning y'all, Tyler from OTR Outdoors. Today we're going to do a bunch of different projects around camp. Uh, yesterday I was here and the day before I was here I uh, posted that video of uh, me removing the axe handle from my axe head that broke um, or they got loose burning it out. That was the first night and the first morning here and then the rest of yesterday which was the, the second part of that video I just spent uh, getting camp cleaned up getting organized and proving a few things add a keyhole so I can cook on it and stuff like that so that's all I really did yesterday um, got this tarp up if you noticed that was not in the previous video we had a little bit of a thunderstorm yesterday about 30 minutes put this tripod together threw up the the tarp to stay out of the rain so I sit around with the fire and work some more and get a few more chores done while I was while the rain was coming through uh, but today we got a bunch of stuff going first we're gonna do is uh, cook something to eat and get some breakfast going. So we're gonna go get some supplies for that. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna use uh, our knife and a piece of quartz or flint, whichever one's in the top of my uh, fire kit, and some char cloth. Just some a little more traditional to use char cloth to get the fire going this morning. And uh, we'll go from there. So all I did is I grabbed some uh, old man's beard, which is what this stuff is, and a tiny bit of birch bark on the inside. And all I did was take some birch bark and wrap it around the outside so that once this gets going, I have something to hold on to like that. We'll put our ember right there. Set that down there like that. I've got my old hickory knife. I don't always wear this one but i always have it in my pack with me give me a second blade really good for processing game that's why i always have it and then a piece of char out of my tin and then we're going to make some more char i have my actual char tin with some old denim in here cut this down a little bit and while our fire gets going for our lunch we're going to make some more char cloth So we got our char tin, all this char cloth, or this cloth is going to become char in here. Get that closed up, set off to the side for here in a minute. We get out of here I've got some char cloth in here but this is this isn't always in my pack I swapped this one in and out for different kits so 
That's why I need to make some more for this other kit. Now we're gonna take this, put it into our bundle here. fire get going and we'll add some more of our other prep that we got done earlier and then uh we can go ahead and throw this down in there now and we'll let everything else get going and then we'll take that out before we start cooking we'll go ahead and throw that in there now so it's in there the whole time and once we get a good cold base we'll pull it out and then uh start working on our breakfast well at this point lunch but yeah <laughs> This uh, keyhole, like I said earlier, is one of the things I added to improve the camp, make life a little bit easier. So let this water boil, this is straight out of the creek, like you saw, so I could get this boiled up. And I Filled this thing up all the way so that I would have some extra water. Uh, I got two pots worth of water yesterday in my Camelback now, so probably oh, uh, that's probably a two quart pot, so four, roughly four quarts in there, about a gallon of water in there now. Um, and then I also filled up this water bottle yesterday, but I haven't drank all of it yet, so. I measure for coffee in this pot um, the rivets that hold uh, the rivets excuse me that hold the handle I go right below the second one and I let that puts me at about three scoops of coffee and with the water being at that level it doesn't tend to boil over in this pot that way. We'll set that over there in the corner. Let it get back to a boil again so we can have coffee. All right, so while the rest of that last little bit burns down, we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, food going. And we're going to do our eggs in here along with our sausage. We're going to cook our sausage and then throw our eggs in. Let's make sure we got a good choke so nothing sticks. I have a pretty big breakfast this morning. <clears throat> it's my little cooler I got with me since I am. I have my car's 20 yards away from me. I'm still trying to decide. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? It. We're gonna ditch the tent, pack it up, put it in the car, and then we're gonna do a, a shelter with a parachute shelter and get it all set up. Uh, I'll have to collect a few more pieces to make the frame that I'm gonna make. Just do a A-frame shelter, a A-frame type shelter. Um, but I'll let y'all look at that in a bit. I gotta collect up some more material, get everything put together and we'll do our shelter so that'll be a pretty cool one not a super hard shelter uh, just takes time it takes about 45 minutes to set up or so 
not counting collecting the material. So it'll probably take us an hour or take me an hour, hour and a half. I say, keep saying we, me and y'all. Um, if you're new to the channel, I know I hadn't posted a whole lot up until this last week. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot. I will have an update video for y'all of what all is going on. Uh, hopefully next week. Uh, waiting on a few things to finalize and we'll have those so but thanks to all the uh the new subscribers appreciate it i'm gonna finish getting breakfast cooked up and uh i'll bring y'all back in a little bit once this is ready He's ready. All right, y'all. So there's breakfast and our eggs, our jalapeno and habanero cheese, and our sausage. Fresh cup of coffee. All right, so I'm gonna eat real quick and then I'll get back with y'all in a bit. It is definitely hot. It does still have a little bit of smoke coming out of it, so we're gonna set this back down in here and add a little more fuel to this. Is it still got smoke coming out of it? For char cloth, you want to let it let it stay in the fire until it stops smoking. And that was still smoking just a touch. It may have been the sweat off of my gloves that made it kind of steam, but it looked like there was actually smoke coming off the back over there. So we'll uh, add a little bit more fuel and uh, let this go for a few minutes longer and we'll start working on our our logs for our shelter so i need two more that are between 11 and 12 feet and when i say feet i mean actual my foot so roughly a foot close to it so somewhere between 11 and 12 feet and then two of those and one six footer all righty so let's see these don't have to be super big um about nalgene size so size of a nalgene bottle will work we're not really doing much as far as holding weight it's just gonna have a parachute on it there we go let's measure it out and see how close we are I know we got enough for at least our two long pieces so here let me so we're just going to lock this out two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, so there's one, it's 11, because I think my other one's 11, so if I keep them all at 11, they'll all be the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there's definitely 6 foot left there, so here's our log.
this should be plenty good now. Broke my spatula handle, I'll have to get that fixed, make another one. Let that cool off for a second. All right, so let's see what we got here. Got a little bit of ash in there with it, but knock that out. This stuff feels like it's real good. So we'll take a real small piece. We'll just take a square. I don't know if I've said this before, this little piece of paper that's in here is to keep it from everything else in here from scratching up the magnifying glass. There we go. Viable char cloth. Thing you're gonna do you can kind of tell how I got this oriented already so I've got my three longs and my two shorts next to each other and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lash the two short ones together and the three long ones together and we're gonna do the two long ones on the far end away from us and the two short ones on the close right. end so on this first one I bundled my line up in my hand we're just going to do a standard lash, three wraps, three fraps, and four on four on the other one, because the other one's going to hold the weight of this middle piece. So what I'm going to do is do a bowling knot as my starter. I'm going to wrap three times. All right, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, three, and three on the bottom. So now we're gonna do our fraps. And this part doesn't have to be super, super tight because you're gonna, that's what your fraps are for. So tighten all this together. And you gotta be able to, you wanna be able to move this. You're gonna be able to lift this middle log up here in a minute. We're gonna do the same thing on this, three and three. There's one full wrap. All right, so all I did on this part was three wraps and three fraps. And I'm gonna finish it off with a flow pitch. Hopefully I can do this behind the camera. So there's my running end. Take two fingers, flip over on itself, reach through, make a loop. We're gonna take our running in through that loop and then pull all that tight. And there's your bowling. So that's all I'm doing. Bring our bipod we made. Get it opened up. And this is going to be the front of your shelter, so get it situated where you want it. it. 
break this middle pole. Whack this top pole right here to this pole here. And it doesn't have to be anything. This has just got to be two and two because uh, this isn't holding any weight. This is just to keep the two together. So bowling knot like I've been doing. And we'll do a square lash on this one too. Or we'll do a square lash on this, unlike the other ones. And they're going to go on the outside. And let's get these picked up and slid to the outside. All right, so I move this in. Y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start with my bowling. A square lash, so around, down. Back around, up. Same thing again. And on this short one. All I'm doing to tie these together is put a square knot in them. Do our fraps. over here do our clove hitch actually we're gonna go do our clove hitch on this side so we got enough line there's the framework for all of our shelter Now we're gonna go ahead and skin it or add the cover. But I am gonna grab a steak. Actually, let me take y'all back there and show y'all what I'm talking about on the back. I'm gonna grab a steak, actually two steaks, and put in the ground back there so that that back piece doesn't pull out. All right, so what happened is I didn't come up far enough on my lashing. This should actually fit right here between these two. And on this side, it'll go under there. On this side, it won't. So there's enough there for it to catch on both sides. Like that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a stake here and a stake here on both sides so it won't back out and I'll just keep it tight right there. All right, so there we go. Got the two stakes put in there. Now what we're gonna do is called skinning. So we're gonna put the cover on the frame. Looks just so good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the back and start running buttons all the way down the sides. Alright y'all, so there's the finished shelter. I'll walk around here so y'all can see it. Now, there's a couple spots I could tighten up some more, but for a one night stay, no big deal. Down here these buttons, pull some more of that little slack out there. But overall, 
turned out pretty good. Normally you would make this another, uh, probably another one, two. So to get down to one more line, you'd want to add another foot to this almost normally. But we're working with the logs I had and not wanting to cut a bunch of the guy's stuff other than what I already did. If you leave it a little bit shorter like that, you got a full ground cover, two layers from the leftover material. If you see that second line right there, you want that to be right at the log level, and that's a little low. But overall, not bad. Uh, now what we're gonna do, sorry I didn't get the whole thing filmed, I'll redo this shelter again. All right, so to get our poncho on here, we do the door. First thing we're gonna do is take this last little bit here from where we tied off earlier. And do the girth hitch on it. I'll show you how to do the girth hitch with a single line later. Alright. Alright, so you can see me there. So I'm gonna take a bite, run it through the grommet. Run both pieces through there, create a girth hitch, and I'm bring this straight, straight back. That should be good there. So we'll put our trucker's hitch in. A little too far up. That should be good there. Let's see if we got enough line to put a safety on that. Just barely. There's our two lines coming back. And we don't need the door, so like right now. Just take this, put it back up over the top. But there you go, there's the shelter we're going to use for tonight just a frame shelter with a an eight gore parachute and when I take this down I'll show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about eight gores it's the number of sections here I'll show you real quick so on a parachute one gore is the space between this hem right here I'm gonna get this I'm not gonna be able to pull it down but this hem right here where this piece is where the two pieces are sewn together between this one and this one is a gore um so it's, in order to build this shelter it took us one two basically two and a half gores per side rough well about two you couldn't do it with two you'd need about two and a half or three to do it but then with the eight you have a full section on the inside of ground cover loop through there and that will hang right over our fire and we can adjust our tripod up and down as needed I'm gonna call it for tonight as far as filming. Uh, we're almost too dark for one and two. I need to go get everything charged back up. The GoPro is completely dead. I already had to char charge my phone once while making this video today, actually twice. Um, so I'm gonna get everything charged up for the night and ready to go for tomorrow. And uh, I'll go into depth tomorrow on that shelter a little bit more uh, as far as 
the different stuff I did that wasn't close up. Um, I'll do some close up stuff explaining what it is, how it works, and why you do it uh, when I take this down. So you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about, some of the stuff I was talking about earlier. So get this cooked up, and I will see y'all in the morning unless something super cool or crazy happens. Good morning, y'all. It is like 8.30 something. Pretty good night of sleep. Oh, I love this shelter compared to the tent. There's so much more room. I'm After I got done, I mean, y'all saw I put my full pack in here and everything. I still got room. So. I'm gonna get up. Get dressed, get breakfast, camp cleaned up, and then I gotta head out of here. I'm gonna try and do, uh, there's a short trail here, right here next to the camp. There's actually two. Oh, probably. There's two trails I'm gonna try and knock out real quick once I get everything cleaned up. Um, one of them's like a mile, and one of them's about a half mile. Oh, I really want to do the short one because it falls to the creek and see what it looks like. There's supposed to be a rock outcropping on that little trail next to the creek too. So, I'm going to check that one out. Oh, hurry. <sighs> but first, coffee, breakfast, and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, so we're gonna do a quick walk around so I can show you what I was talking about yesterday. So you're gonna come, starting on the back, you're gonna put buttons all the way up. And uh, if you haven't haven't seen me do buttons, I've done buttons before. All you're doing, and I, all I used honestly was this dirt. You're gonna take the dirt, wrap it in your fabric or whatever, you can do it on tarp, whatever you're putting it on, and then tie a slip knot 
and cinch it down on top of that to get your buttons pulled tight. And like I said, this one isn't perfect. It needs to be pulled down some more. That button there should have come down. This button should have come down some more. But got the top really nice and tight. So and you're gonna alternate sides. So I did that one first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. That way you're keeping this line, this seam, down the middle of your ridge pole. Like I said, it's slightly off. It's still on the pole the entire way, but it's not completely centered at the very top there. Um, and then once you get that done um, on the parachute, on this bottom seam, you cut holes. You do it basically like that. You measure it down and you cut like a one inch strip in there and melt it. And you're gonna start at the top and just do a girth hitch. You're gonna wrap around your pole and pull everything nice and snug and tight up to the pole. So you get all the way to the bottom. And that's just gonna pull that all the way to the front. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Like I said, I'll do this shelter again. Um, next time I'm somewhere where I can get, pardon me, get stuff cut or that there's enough material there to make it. Uh, and I had this a lot later and a lot lower last night. Um, slept great. Uh, actually more comfortable than my tent because this thing has got so much more room. And when you do it to the full size, it's got even more room. So like I said, I was doing this off memory and after I got it done, I realized all my poles were a touch short. All right, so all I'm gonna do, I just finished breakfast and I've already cleaned up some of camp. I got my sleeping bag and stuff, put it back in the stuff sack and in the car and organized. Uh, so all I really have left is my sleep pad, my, my ruck, and a few odds and ends from breakfast. Get all those in the car real quick and we're gonna hike this real short trail that follows the creek and check it out, see if there's something else. Cause I've gone that way. So from the shelter behind the shelter, Oh, y'all can't see it that way. From behind the shelter, that's where we got all our other wood, and that's where we crossed the creek on that big tree. So I'm going to go back the other way uh, and follow it up. There's a trail there, he said. So follow that trail up and just see what it looks like. There's supposed to be a really cool cliff face, um, a rock face up there. So go check that out real quick once I get camp broke down, and then uh, make the drive out. All right, y'all, so there's camp all cleaned up. Everything put away. Everything's in the Jeep, ready to go. Remember, there's always a storm coming. Keep your powder dry, your action knife sharp, and I on your back trail. See y'all next time.